Welcome to the Blow Mold Hospital. Today I'm going to be looking at how to restore a color wheel. You saw these on a lot of aluminum Christmas trees in 50s and 60s and it's really a, a really cool item here. I just found this one at a, an estate sale and it's got several problems. Um, as you can see that there's it's separated, they've got some tape here. It's really, really dirty been sitting around for a while it's kind of cool very neat looking got an adjustable base but as you can see it's absolutely filthy now I did turn it on at the estate sale and I will say that the light came on but I didn't see the motor moving so there's some work there to do but what I'm going to try to do is go through this thing take it all apart see if I can get it to be together better than to use the tape that they the uh, previous owner used I want to clean this up and once I get it taken apart there see if I can't get the motor working and uh, get this thing going again I would really love to do it I don't have an aluminum tree yet but I could use it on any of my other trees that I have so Join me as I try to go through and clean this up, and if, if I can't get it working again, I'll see if any of you all know uh, what to do and have any suggestions. Okay, I've got it all apart, got all the hardware over here. First I can see that there is a bent piece here that may have been preventing it. Maybe the motor was actually moving, but just that bent piece here might have been keeping it from going because it wasn't grabbing into the plastic so I'll straighten that and see if I can get it um, lined up but other than that there's a couple of pieces back here that um, you can see that there's like a little plastic clip that goes over from one side and several of those are broken so I see why that they needed the tape these pieces are broken here and they won't click together so I'll have to come up with a way of either like wiring it or doing something here but I'll, I'll get it fixed I'll get something stuck there and get it working but the biggest thing that I need to do is clean it it is absolutely filthy on the outside and in here the motor is quite dirty it's got a lot of dust and things around it but it's in a housing so I'm going to clean it up really good, take my time, probably will use my flitz polish on the other side of the wheel because it is absolutely filthy. See if I can't get them shined up. So I'm going to go do some elbow grease on this and I'll be back. Motor working. So I took my trusty Dremel and... I ground the edges where it was crimped over the motor housing. I don't know if I showed you earlier or not, but this shaft would not turn. But as soon as I took the motor off, the shaft would move. So I knew that it was the motor. The shaft and the gears look really good. Super, super slick. I'll still put some oil or something down in there, but still working just fine. And all of the teeth are there. At least that's what I'm seeing but anyway over here the motor I would turn it on and it would hum Let's see if I can turn it on right now it would hum but it, this the, the uh, there's a magnet here that's basically the the gear that fits on here and it's supposed to spin and it wants to start but as soon as I give it a little bit of movement it starts working so I believe the reason that this is all having a problem is lack of oil it just dried out really really bad so I'm going to try to oil the shaft up a little bit and then put it back together with the gearbox and hopefully it'll still work it's a very light motor. You can stop it super easy. And maybe it works better once you match these 
teeth around here up to the teeth in here, so maybe the oil will work. But anyway, it's working. I'm hopeful. So I'm going to oil it up a little bit. See if I can get it uh, put back together and hopefully it will continue to work once it's together. Though I've washed these lenses up with soap and water, you can see that there's other stains and things on it that the water just didn't get. So in order to clean those up, I'm going to use my trusty flits. I'm going to get polishing on it. You've seen several of my videos already with flits, so you don't need to watch me polish, but I'll show you what it looks like afterwards. should look much different. Up these pieces, front and back, looking pretty good. So now I'm thinking about how to put it together and um, come up with a way to seize them or to connect them since some of the clips are broken behind. But these look really, really great. Polish these pieces up too, the metal there. And this, I bent this piece earlier that I was talking about to be straight again. However, it's very, very loose. I worry it's going to fall off. So I'm not going to touch that again and maybe it'll fall off. Um, but we'll see. Polished up, still some scratches, but better than it was. But we'll see how that piece does. I'll have to come up with some other way to grip the plastic with this disc, but I'll figure it out. More to come. So I've got clips here, here, here. It's really this piece right here that doesn't. So they all don't stick together very well. So I'm going to try something just really quickly. This is not the best way to fix it but I would say that it's for a short-term fix I actually want to get this together and take a look at it see if it works all together but just one of these clips that you use for binding paper and things like a giant spring paper clip I'm gonna set it right here on this end and if you know these things if you pinch the things the uh, clips come out the if you pinch the things if you pinch the handles they come out so I've just got that spring clip there so it kind of holds it together look at that shine all right so that's what I'm going to do for this now let me assemble this thing see what it looks like And instead of a, I think this was a 60 watt bulb that come out of it, I'm going to put an LED in there just to keep it that much cooler and to save some electricity. And before I do anything else, let me just give it a try to ensure everything works. Light bulb looks great. The um, shaft is still spinning here. It's actually pretty strong. Okay, so I'll turn that off. And I polished up all of the plastic pieces. Remember how dirty it was? cleaned it all up nicely looks really good 
very excited to have this piece. I've been looking for one of these. I've actually owned a couple of these in my lifetime. But back in the day before I really cared that much about Christmas decorations, I sold them. So I will make sure not to make that mistake again. Because I'm a little more into Christmas decorations than I was back then. Now, the piece that I've been worried about, that clip is actually holding on pretty well. The piece that I've been worried about is this little piece here with this little metal tab. And it's supposed to fit on here like that. And then this fits over the center hub, but that's supposed to engage in between those metal ears. Okay. All right, it's in there. back together. Plug it up. So this thing was a complete restore. It was a restore of the plastic, shining it back up, cleaning it, um, polishing the lenses, fixing the motor because it wasn't working, and trying to rig up a clip that would hold these lenses together. So let's, I'm gonna flip out the light here. Let's see what we got. Oh man, I am so happy with that. And it's super quiet too. Look at that. If you haven't been able to tell from my other videos, I love restoring Christmas decorations. Nothing like it. And this, I feel like it was a complete restore to not working to lenses that were pretty messed up. They still got a few scratches on them, but overall, fantastic item. Very, very happy with it. Thanks for joining me on the Bloom Old Hospital. Hope you enjoyed this complete restore. Give it a subscribe if you haven't. Thanks. Merry Christmas.